हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो टुडेज टॉपिक इज माइक्रोबियल कंट्रोल ऑफ वीड्स एंड साइनोबैक्टीरियल ब्लूम्स सो दिस इज बेसिकली नोन एज द बायोलॉजिकल कंट्रोल मेथड्स फॉर वीड्स एंड साइनोबैक्टीरियल ब्लूम्स दैट इज हाउ वी कैन यूटिलाइज द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स फॉर द कंट्रोलिंग ऑफ द वीड्स एंड द साइनो ब्लूम्स सो इंट्रोडक्शन that is the definition of the process so by microbial control of the weeds is defined as the process that is it in which the use of an agent or a complex of agents that is the agent that is the living microorganisms we can say or the biological processes that is the processes that are performed by those microorganisms to sustain their life to bring the uh, weed suppression then now the point is what are weeds so they are unwanted that is they are not desired that is they are of not a particular use undesirable plant growing out of their proper place that is they are not required at that uh, we can say area where they grow which interfere with the utilization of the natural resources that is for example um, there is a weed species that grow in a particular area and it utilizes the ground water uh, so much that it will affect the nearby plants and it will be also harmful for the soil and the we can say the land also then it is persistent competitive harmful and even poisonous and can grow in adverse climatic conditions that is it has poisonous adaptability to we can say to adapt to a particular condition or we can say in harsh conditions so that there are better chances of its survival so bio control is successful when the weed the bio control agent that is the microorganisms and the environment interact in such a manner that weed control or the suppression occurs uh, we can say efficiently so this is a diagram representing the interaction among the weed pathogen and the environment which results in the biological weed control so here this is the interaction between the weed environment and the pathogen bio control is the we can say last process so here we try to avoid the pathogen that is pathogen is the microorganism that is mainly used to control the weed so it tries to avoid the pathogen so as to we can say adapt to the condition it also uh, try to avoid the environment that is environmental escape process will also took place so that uh, it will not interact with the environment and the process of bio control will not took place so for better or we can say efficient bio control these all are should be interacted properly then three main strategies for the weed control so these are the three main strategies that are basically used to control the weeds that is through the biological agents the first is the classical approach so it involves the use of natural enemies for the release dissemination and the self perpetuation on the target pest that is uh, for example rust fungi so basically here we can use we can use the natural enemies that are naturally present in the environment and not the use of the genetically engineered or the genetically modified organisms here so that they have uh, we can say the better chances of controlling the weeds then inundative approach so the addition of a virulent strain to suppress the weeds so basically here what we can do is genetically engineer a particular microorganism and then add that virulent strain into that into its genome and then it is used for controlling or suppressing the weeds and the integrative approach so management of weed suppressive soils including the practices to conserve or enhance the native enemies of the weeds that is native enemies of the weeds means the enemies or we can say the biological uh, agents that resides in the soil itself that is they have the ability to control the growth or suppress the weeds so here in integrative approach what we do is we have to we can say modify or we have to conserve these native enemies of that particular weed so that it will be beneficial for us and then we should not have to go for the inundative or the classical approach so these native enemies are already present in the soil for the 
we can say control of the weeds then this is a table representing the weed pest that is the species of the weeds that grow in a particular area okay and the bio control agent that is used for their control so abutulon therophrastai that is to control this pseudomonas putida and fusarium oxysporum is used and amaranthus species so plomopsis amoranthicola is used then amaranthus retrofloxus for this alternaria alternata is used cannabis sativa for this fusarium oxysporum agent is used and chinopodium album ascochyta colina is used so biological herbicides represent a means to reduce the dependence on synthetic herbicides that is biological control agents are mostly effective in controlling the weeds so we have to utilize them more and also this will reduce the dependence or the necessity of the synthetic herbicides as we know synthetic herbicides will also lead to some pollution and degradation of soil so it is better to use the microbial agents or the biocontrol agents for the control of the weeds so this is a diagram representing the flow of of an assay that is test to obtain a biological control organism from the soil that is how we can know that is this particular biological agent or the microorganism is able to control the weed or not so this is basically we can say obtained or tested by this a particular test method so so here the first step is first isolate the soil that is uh, we have to isolate the root then after that bacteria will be released after freeze that is from freezing uh, after some freezing conditions bacteria will be tested from that or isolated from that then uh, bioassay weed laboratory it has to be taken to that particular laboratory where the uh, bioassay weed that is the test related to the biocontrol agent should be performed then the two tests are there that is uh, two results are there we can say first is it inhibits the weed that is it has the properties to inhibit the growth of the weed or to control the weed okay and it does not inhibit the weed at all that is there are no chances on uh, we can say zero chances are here and here is 50 percent chances to control the weed then another test is performed here that is bioassay on the beneficial plant that is weeds are we can say found in the agricultural fields or any other areas where also beneficial plants are also present so we have to also perform that bio uh, test of that bio control agent on that particular we can say beneficial plant also so that it will not harm that beneficial plant it will only harm the weed so inhibits the beneficial plant that is this particular we can say biocontrol agent that is used here or tested here is inhibiting the growth of the beneficial plant so it will be rejected as this happened in the earlier case then it does not inhibit the beneficial plants if so there is one percent chance then it has to be tested in the soil that is it have to be we can say applied in greenhouse then again it does not inhibit the weed okay and inhibit beneficial plant that is inhibit the growth of beneficial plants then it should also again be rejected but in case if it inhibits the weeds and not the beneficial plants then it has to be again tested there is a 0.5 percent test um, and we can say chance then field test multiple years took for this field test and that last results came that is it does not inhibit the weed inhibit beneficial plants or does not survive at all so it will be rejected and if the result is that is it inhibits weed and not the beneficial plant then there again is 0.1 percent chance that is it should be used as a biocontrol agent so this is the whole procedure for testing a biocontrol agent under the laboratory conditions then cyanobacterial blooms so blooms of the freshwater cyanobacteria that is a species of algae in the genera that is microcystis and anabena have caused increasing problems in recent years that is these have frequently resulted in deterioration of the water quality that is algal bloom may cause the degradation of the water quality which adverse with adverse effects on the lake ecology that is it will disturb the ecology of the lake
like it will harm the living organisms that resides in that particular lake or the plants okay so livestock human water supply etc so these are the we can say harmful effects of the cyanobacterial bloom so there is a need to control them just like the weeds so there are various agents that are used here first is the viral agent so lpp1 cyanophage is used for controlling of the cyanobacterial blooms uh, what are its property basically rapid generation time that is it has fast multiplication rate another property is like host specificity that is it works on a particular host only that is like a particular species of that cyanobacterial bloom so that it will will act specifically occurrence of resistant host mutants and the effect of the environmental factors is also there so it will be basically resistant from these things then bacterial agents are also utilized for controlling the cyanobacterial bloom so bacillus species flavibacter species mixococcus okay mixococcus is basically considered as the best biocontrol agent because of so these are the various we can say uh, features or the characteristics which made the mixococcus a uh, best choice for the biocontrol agent first is the adaptability to the variations in the physical conditions that is it will be able to adapt itself accordingly but to the physical conditions like high high temperature or low temperature okay rainfall etc ph humidity then the ability to search or trap that is it will we can say trap or search the cyanobacterial blooms easily and is able to control them then the pre consumption process um, property ability to survive the low prey density that is there is uh, only not only a we can say chance that is uh, forever there is a high density of prey that is cyanobacteria bloom is present for them so they have adapted themselves that is whenever the prey density becomes low then they will also be able to survive a wide host strains that is they will act on uh, various type of the host not on only on a particular species then the ability to respond to changes in the host that is if host also develop a mutant to protect themselves from the biocontrol agent then they also have the ability to change accordingly to the host and the capacity and the ability to multiply just like any other organisms we can see the cyanophage virus then in case of fungi rhizophidium planktonium is used acrimonium and the americellopsis species are used for controlling the uh, cyanobacterial bloom and in case of protozoa also nasula ochromonas acanthomoeba its effectiveness depend on the factors that is how a protozoa is able to control the cyanobacteria bloom depends on various factors like the protozoan growth and the grazing rate that is how it should be able to consume a particular bloom and the predation specificity again and the cyanobacterial growth rate also that is how a particular algal bloom or a cyanobacterium bloom is able to grow or multiply and at what rate and the predation rate by the higher organisms that is another organism that feed on the protozoa as a matters here so this is another we can say a field test for laboratory test for testing the particular biocontrol agent whether it is suitable for the control of cyanobacterial blooms or not so here environmental from environment we took a sample then screen for antagonist that is is it able to grow on that particular we can say algal bloom loan or not so here it is cultured and tested then subculture and purify the isolate that is if it uh, we can say work effectively here in that step then it will be again subculture that is its micro colonies are formed that is algal loan is again uh, we can say cultured then laboratory test on the isolates are performed that is these isolates should be again tested on laboratory in laboratory and then the control test this is the graph we can say the result that is obtained in liquid culture that is it is performed in the liquid that is we can say particular water source and then if it is effective then microcosm and field trials are again done for uh, we can say particular years and at last it is used in lake management that is this method is used or this biocontrol agent is used to uh, control the um, microbial uh, we can say the cyanobacterial bloom 
सो यार दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द माइक्रोबियल कंट्रोल फॉर वीड्स एंड साइनो बैक्टीरियल ब्लूम्स होप यू विल लाइक माई वीडियो एंड इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियो प्लीज़ डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल